G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, today we are looking at actually December 22nd, Poké Dots by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how are you doing? Uh, this is uh, this is a cute one, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. I don't know, time's blending together, gang. It's a weird one. Um, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create set and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You'll also find hat times. Two hats for a very fast time, one hat for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. That being said, I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Uh, now, this is a ratio Sudoku. Uh, ratio thermo Sudoku. What does that mean? It means Normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, uh, uh, we have some dots uh, in the grid. These black dots indicate a relationship of one to two. Therefore, it's one digit must be double the other. And we have thermometers. Oh, not all black dots are given. Uh, we also have some thermometers. Uh, along thermometers, digits must increase from this end going all the way to the end. It can't repeat as well. Uh, that's it. That's all you need in order to solve today's puzzle. Uh, I'm going to jump into it now. Let's do it. Now, uh, what we can do a bunch of write-ins immediately. Uh, what, what do I mean by that? Uh, I will demonstrate it on this thermo over here. So, uh, the only way you can double three times in a row is if it is uh, two, four, and one, and eight. Now, uh, it could either go one, two... Uh, one, two, four, and eight, or it can go one, two, four, and eight. Now, uh, the, the test on whether or not you are paying attention is just do you, were you paying attention when I explained the rules like a minute ago? Um, if you are, you'd know that because this is a thermo and they have to increase going down this way, this can never be a one. So this has to be an eight. Uh, this one has to be. Uh, this one has to go like that, this one has to go like this, and this one has to go like this. Now, uh, let's have a look at each of them. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I'll do this. All right, so this is a seven cell thermometer. Uh, six, five, three, one. Ah, okay, that's just minimum. All right, cool. One, three, five, six, seven is the lowest possible digit I can put there or the highest possible digit. Uh, and then three, five, oh, no, that's not right. Six, uh, six, seven. Oh, yeah, no, I've jumped to a conclusion in that one. That one's forced. That's fine. Uh, this has to be a one. Uh, three, five, nine, all right. <sighs> no, tell you what. I I know that I know that that one's correct, but because I'm now doubting myself about this one, we're gonna go through how to pencil mark a thermometer. So, when you're pencil marking uh, a thermometer, we're gonna ignore conflict tracker for a second, uh, right? If you're trying to figure out like degrees of freedom and stuff, uh, what you should do is you should write what's the lowest possible digit that can go on any of these. So, can't be two. So. Uh, no, I'm going to do the whole thing. So two, three, four, five, six is the lowest thing this could be. Now, the highest possible thing this could be is nine, eight, seven, six, five. And then what you want to do is you want to fill in all the blanks. So that's four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Uh, we can do this. Uh, we, we can go the same way around here. So this is one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh no, actually, that's not even right. Uh, this is seven, six, five, four, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two. Now, uh, when you see a digit that's uh, on either end, if you are using conflict checker, like I am today, uh, what you can do is you can get rid of that digit on the end. Uh, but you can do it all the way up the chain because now two can't be there. So, this can never be a three because we can never have a digit less and the whole thing repeats up. 
Now, because we have a four here, we get rid of the four and four there too. Now this can't be five, this can't be six, this can't be seven. Yeah, I was right to not assume things. So uh, over here, this cannot be four. So this can never be five. And now this can't be four. Oh, I've jumped plenty of conclusions. That's, thank God I did. This. All right, cool. Uh, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then seven, six, five, four, and then three, four, five, six. We can go the same way. I'll clean it up in a second, but uh, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Now, this is forced to be a three. This can't be anything other than five. This can't be anything other than six. This can't be anything other than seven. Uh, that's, that, kids, is sometimes, oh, that's not a four, that's a seven, is why. <laughs> It pays to take it, that's not a seven, that's an eight. Is why it pays to take it slow. <laughs> uh, the, um, I haven't had a good last 24 hours, gang. So, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a five, that's a six, that's a seven. Uh, we don't know what that is just yet, but that seven's gonna come back and make that a nine and that's a seven. Uh, this is now a one, three, nine, triple, uh, which we actually know how that works. Now, because the nine's, taken out of that one. Uh, we can go eight, seven, six, five, three. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, uh, do we know, and we still can't do the bottom one. That's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, we can do a bit more Sudoku up here. That's an eight. This is a six, seven, nine. Uh, two and a five going there. Three, seven, nine along here. And then this is four and six. We have the four. Uh, which means this is six and four. It means we can do the rest of that. And then three, take three out of there. Hey, that, that solves our problem down here. Seven, six, we still don't know how that goes. Wow, I made a lot of assumptions and I'm glad I have done something smarter. All right, this is two, four, five along here. Uh, now, but this can't be a five because we can't have uh, two and a half or 10 in a Sudoku thing. Now. Uh, this cannot be eight, so it's either one, two, or four along here. Now, uh, where else am I looking? Uh, 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 this is a five along here. Uh, two, two, uh, that, <laughs> that's so weird. That's a quadruple. Uh, that's a triple. That's a triple. Two, four, five. That can just be a one, which actually unwinds all of that for me. Make that a one. That's a five. Uh, all right. Now. Yeah. Uh, seven there. Uh, that is a naked single nine, which is, uh, it's going to unwind my six and three down here. We pick three out of here. Uh, four, five, nine along the bottom. Take the four out, take the five out. Uh, one, two, three, six. That's a one, two. That, ah, that's just a one. Uh, that's a two, that's a three. Uh, makes that a nine and a three. This is a nine along here, eight there. Uh, two, three, four along the top. Interesting. Uh, do I know what this is yet? I do, it's a four, eight. How is it a four, eight? Can't be a one, two, because I got the one there. Can't be a three, six, because I got there. Uh, and if this was a two, four, that would leave this with no candidates. So this has to be four and eight. That's an eight. This is a four. Uh, nine, four, six. Come back up the top here. Two, three, four. Um, and that is a seven. That is a three and a five. Uh, one, nine, two, and six. That's been Polka Dots The Long Way Around uh, by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy, wherever you are in the world. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Yes.